Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about some news related to Windows 11 and what Microsoft has announced yesterday because yesterday Microsoft had an event where they talked about the new AI stuff that they've been working on and the AI stuff that it's supposed to be released beginning in this year with the version 24H2. As a quick reminder, Windows 11 24H2 was released as RTM, which basically means that certain laptops and devices will come with Windows 11 24H2 pre-installed and Microsoft will begin to test out new AI features on those devices so I think this is a good thing but in this video in particular we're gonna talk about a new AI feature that is called recall this is basically the AI Explorer but is no longer called like that it is now called recall and in this video we're gonna talk about it what it is and how it can change the use of our Windows 11 operating system if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 new features please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video so what is Recall? Recall is basically a new AI feature that will track down everything you do on your computer. Yeah, at a first glance it sounds really really scary, but pay attention that this is only done locally, so it is not stored somewhere in the cloud or anything like that, so Microsoft cannot track down everything that you do, but Recall will basically work in the background, of course if you opt to use it, and it will save screenshots of the work that you do over time, and then you're going to be able to search up things that you did in the past. So let me show how the new UI looks, I have here a screenshot from the official Microsoft website. So this is how Recall would look. As you can see, we have this icon that we've showed in previous videos, and this is basically the interface. You have here a search button, which you can use to search your history, and you have your history here. And AI will use natural language to be able to search within text, photos. For example, you describe something and it will be able to detect certain screenshots and certain actions that you did on your computer related to that action. I think this feature could be an interesting addition, but I'm sure that a lot of people will not use it because of course having something that records your computer behind the scenes is not something that a lot of people would want, I'm assuming. As you can see at the top we also have a timeline which shows the dates and certain things that were saved within those dates. Now let's talk about system requirements. What do you need to have on your system or what system you need to have in order to be able to use recall? So of course on your system you're going to need to have the neural processing unit or NPU, 16 gigabytes of memory and also a minimum of 255 storage SSD or hard drive and of course the top tier processors. Now of course this is in the first phase Microsoft will release a first preview that will not be as powerful as they want it to be in the future but from what Microsoft said they will let the user customize the experience so for example if you opt to use recall you're going to be able to customize which websites or which apps to be shown or saved in this device history or you can also also opt to not save whenever you're using your browser in incognito mode and stuff like that. So it will be customizable so you don't have to worry about that but of course you can always opt to not use it. Now if you're wondering how much space does this take, well according to Microsoft if you have a 255 storage SSD or hard drive it's going to take up to 25 gigabytes to save approximately the last three months of device history so I think this is pretty good but I'm also looking forward to seeing your opinion in the comments below. What do you think about this new feature from Windows 11 24H2 that will start to be tested by Microsoft. Of course, we'll be able to test out this feature, especially on the new Microsoft devices with Windows, of course, that they've announced in the event that was yesterday. So at least at first, not a lot of users will be able to test out this feature or have this feature on their computer, but it will be very easy to use. You're going to have this icon on the taskbar, like we have Windows Copilot. We're going to be able to access it, search something here, and it's going to search up in images, documents, and so on. It's interesting because it's going to use the natural language and it'll be able to search within texts, photos, and so on. And one thing that I have to state again is that this will be stored locally. This is what Microsoft promises. So it's not going to be something such as the telemetry that we have in Windows 11. We can opt to pause, stop, or delete everything that we do and save in our device history using Recall. So I think that is pretty good. So basically, this is pretty much the information that we have right now about Recall. Please let me know below in the comments what you think about this new feature and if you are going to use it if it's going to be available on your device. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozzy Manu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.